Elon Musk's latest announcement about Tesla's 2025 lineup featuring yet another mind-blowing technology has created quite a chaos in the market. You might think, why? It's just batteries. But you guys, it's solid-state batteries. These new Tesla solid-state batteries might change the vehicle industry forever. In this video, you will see why solid-state batteries have created such a buzz. Tesla is gearing up to incorporate these batteries into its future models, with advancements and prototypes already in the spotlight. How will other industry leaders view this breakthrough? And how will it boost Tesla's sales over traditional lithium-ion batteries? Let's get right into it. Tesla's solid-state batteries are a very creative technology that could multiply the performance, safety, and sustainability of Tesla vehicles by 10 times. This is because these batteries have a higher energy density compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. You know what that means? It means that they can deliver more range and performance without making the car bigger or heavier. Yes, you heard that right, better performance and same size. In other words, solid-state batteries use solid electrolytes made from materials like ceramics, sulfides, or polymers, which are non-flammable and stable. This largely reduces the risk of any possible fires, leaks, and thermal runaway. If you don't know, solid-state batteries are made with 90% recyclable materials, which could help reduce battery waste and create a way for a future where batteries can be reused. Another benefit is that these batteries could improve charging speeds, allowing a charge from 0 to 80% in just about 5 minutes. If you look at it carefully, solid-state batteries align perfectly perfectly with Tesla's promise to all of its clients, which is to make them efficient and sustainable, making their cars a better advancement for the future of electric vehicles. Now, Tesla is not just making batteries for the purpose of having a share in the battery market. Tesla is keeping things real. You will be shocked to know that Tesla's upcoming Model Q is set to feature the new solid-state battery technology. This means the car will have a longer range and better performance without getting any bigger. We have to admit that this is a pretty smart move on the company's part. Now, they can market their new vehicle and their batteries with the same product. These solid-state batteries are also safer because they use non-flammable materials to reduce the risk factors of any fires and leaks. Since they are made from mostly recyclable materials, these batteries can be great for the environment around us. As for the Model Q, it will also charge much faster, going from 0 to 80% in just about 5, 5 minute time period. Now, the big question is whether Model Q will be a shocker or a disappointment. Recently, Toyota has also stepped into the solid-state battery market. Over the past six months, Toyota's shares have noticed a great increase, all because of the exciting news surrounding solid-state batteries. Yes, just these batteries have led to a 49% increase in Toyota's market value, adding $80 billion to it. The Japanese carmaker announced groundbreaking news in June, claiming these new batteries could eventually offer a driving range of 1,200 kilometers on a single charge, which is more than double that of current electric vehicles. What's more interesting is that these batteries could be charged in just 10 minutes. Toyota now plans to start selling vehicles equipped with these advanced batteries by 2027 or 2028. However, only Tesla, recovering from a tough 2022, has been able to keep pace with Toyota's impressive market performance. Now, if Tesla's new project turns out to be a success, Tesla can once again look Toyota in the eye, this time with solid-state batteries. They are considered a revolution in the electric vehicle industry. And how is that, if you're wondering? They allow cars to travel much farther on a single charge and recharge much faster than current batteries. Now, you might think that there is a catch somewhere. Maybe something about the car's safety, but you will be shocked to know that they are much safer. This innovation could significantly boost EV sales, especially as the growth in this market is starting to slow down. It might also interest car lovers who have been hesitant to switch from petrol and diesel cars because of their limited range of EVs. How do EV batteries work? As you might already know, electric vehicles are mostly powered by lithium-ion batteries, which are quite similar to the ones used in mobile phones that we use daily. We have talked about what will change for us as users, but let's look at what will change with these new batteries. The previously used lithium-ion batteries have four main components, a cathode, positive electrode, an anode, negative electrode, a separator that keeps the anode and cathode apart, and an electrolyte that allows lithium ions to move between the cathode and anode. The cathode is primarily made of lithium oxide, along with other metal oxides like nickel, manganese, and cobalt. The anode usually contains graphite, and the electrolyte is a liquid such as lithium salt. Then, electricity is produced in these batteries by the movement of positively charged charged ions from the anode to the cathode. This movement creates a positive charge buildup in the cathode, which attracts electrons from the anode. So simply, these electrons travel through a circuit to power the electric motor. When the battery is being charged, the process reverses. Ions flow back to the anode, and electrons are pulled across a circuit from the cathode. Well, that's it. Despite advances in lithium-ion battery technology, there are still several major issues that create hurdles in the adoption of electric vehicles.
vehicles. These issues include cost, limited driving range per charge compared to petrol or diesel, and charging time. Even though the cost per kilowatt hour has decreased from over $700 a decade ago to about $150 today, lithium-ion batteries can still make up 40% of the cost of an EV. This high cost is a major reason why many EVs are more expensive than their petrol and diesel counterparts. However, the issue is caused by these batteries taking up a lot of space and adding a lot of weight to the vehicle. The liquid electrolytes used in these batteries have low boiling points and are very volatile, limiting both the driving range and the speed of recharging. Over time, lithium batteries also seemingly deteriorate and lose their ability to hold a peak charge. Now, that's not very feasible, is it? To find a solution to these issues, EV battery manufacturers are heavily investing in research and development. A company that can come up with a banger in battery technology could gain a substantial competitive edge and provide better returns to its investors. Believe it or not, but recently, the demand for lithium has indeed skyrocketed, pushing prices up by almost 500% in a year. In China, which produces about 80% of the world's lithium-ion batteries, the government has involved itself to try to lower prices. Despite these efforts, EV manufacturing is not yet at the scale needed to reduce global transport emissions significantly. Elon Musk even mentioned that Tesla might consider getting into lithium mining and refining to control costs. While lithium-ion batteries are expected to dominate the market this decade, solid-state batteries are likely to emerge as a strong alternative by 2030. What's different in solid-state batteries? Unlike lithium-ion batteries, which use a liquid electrolyte, solid-state batteries are named for their solid electrolyte. This solid electrolyte makes solid-state batteries smaller and more energy-dense. Now, this means that these batteries can provide the same energy capacity as lithium-ion batteries, but take up less space and reduce vehicle weight. Another big advantage is that solid-state batteries do not get as hot, eliminating the need for additional cooling equipment and reducing fire risk. The absence of a liquid electrolyte also prevents electrode corrosion, leading to longer battery life. It also allows for the use of new anode materials like silicon or lithium, which can further enhance energy density. However, the only challenge is in producing solid-state batteries in large volumes cost-effectively. Companies like Toyota, Samsung SDI, Honda, and Nissan are actively working to solve this issue. We know how serious Tesla is about their environmental footprint. The company's EVs are already proof of that. The entire life cycle of an electric vehicle, EV battery, including the manufacturing, use, and recycling phases, needs to be considered for a complete environmental impact assessment. Manufacturing a lithium-ion battery does produce significant emissions, estimated at about 3.2 tons, which is higher than that of a lead battery. The recycling process also generates more emissions compared to lead batteries. However, when considering the entire life cycle emissions of EVs versus fossil-fueled cars, EVs still come out ahead with 18% less emissions overall. This advantage largely depends on the electricity mix used during the car's use phase. In places like New Zealand, where 40% of energy comes from renewable sources, the environmental impact during the use phase is considerably lower, making EVs a more sustainable option in the long run. Now, with these new batteries, perhaps things could be the same for the US as well. So, what are your thoughts on Elon Musk coming up with technologies every now and then? Will this one be as promising as he claims it to be? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the following video.